And I'm just gonna find, without looking at the times too hard, what looks like the best cut on the Husqvarna and the best cut on the steel and put them side by side. And we'll pause right here and just let them, let you see what the difference is between gas and electric. And I don't really think the difference is gonna be as huge as it seemed when I was cutting, but no doubt there is a difference. And it just seems like as, as time progresses, these battery saws are just gonna keep getting better and better. Hey guys, how you doing? I just want to say that the only reason I showed that Jack lifting the log there was uh, just to plant the seed in your mind. Uh, I've never actually done that when I was out gathering firewood, but it seems like something that may come in handy someday. Today we're going to be doing, uh, in the interest of creating conflict, which stimulates more YouTube views, we're going to do the classic battery versus gas chainsaw, or better yet, Husqvarna versus Steel, and see who truly is the champion. All right, I'm just messing with you guys. I mean, we clearly know which is better, battery versus gas, and I think we can all agree that in the battle between Husqvarna and Steel, it's obvious there's really only one that's superior. But uh, what we're doing today, guys, is, is I just put an edge on both of my firewood scrounging saws. So I thought we would just cut a log a couple times and, and just kind of compare uh, the way these two saws cut. So I've got a Husqvarna T535iXP and a steel 046. So this saw here, this small battery saw, is actually designed for guys that climb up in trees. Extremely lightweight. Um, short guide bar, I think it's like a 12 or 14 inch guide bar on this guy. Uh, and guys, I really do enjoy battery saws because when we do our test, all you do to get going is you hit one button and squeeze the trigger and you're good. Uh, as opposed to the gas saws, where you gotta pull it two or three times to get it going, then start cutting. However, where we are now, battery saws are only gonna be good for your smaller stuff, and when you get to the bigger wood, you're gonna want the, uh, the gas saws, and there's nothing like the feeling of the Steel 046 in a big log, or for what we're cutting today, uh, a small log, because I think it's got a, it definitely has a 20 inch bar on it, and 20 inch bar is, is way too small 
for a saw this size. All right, so here's the, the Husqvarna, and let me just see if I can zoom in on the chain here. Unfortunately, uh, it's so bright that I'm, I'm not really sure I can. Hopefully you guys are seeing what looks like a pretty sharp chain. And then here's the steel 046. And again, we'll see if we can zoom in a little bit here. And it's so bright I can't really see my viewfinder. So hopefully you guys are seeing what looks like a pretty sharp chain. Um, for me, I sharpen every tank of gas or basically every time I'm done with the saw. Uh, so, you know, this was what I call a maintenance sharpening for both saws. It was maybe this time around, it was probably five to eight strokes. And then I did make sure the depth gauges were, were where they should be too. Today's subject is going to be this piece of sugar maple here, which is, we're going to call that, uh, about nine inches in diameter, uh, way too small for the 046 and getting near about as big as you'd want to cut with the uh, Husqvarna battery. And when you see this tarp down here, guys, the reason I'm doing this is because the last time I, I was out playing with chainsaws, I got a ton of uh, sawdust on the lawn. And if you leave the sawdust on the lawn, it basically ends up not killing the grass, but the grass basically turns yellow for the next year or two. So we're gonna catch the sawdust before we spread it all over the place, hopefully. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do here is just make three cuts with each saw. And basically there really is no point to this whatsoever besides just having some fun. Uh, if you notice anything, just notice how long it takes from the time I pick up the battery saw till I start cutting. Um, and that's, that's really all I can think of. I mean, there, there, there are two saws that are totally, one's too big for what I'm cutting and one is almost too small for what I'm cutting. But I think the other thing you may notice is there's really not a huge difference in how long it takes to, to cut this log between the two saws. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there will be a difference, which over the course of a day would be a huge difference. But if you're only cutting one or two trees, is, is whatever time difference there is gonna really make a difference? I guess that's only for you to decide. So let me get set up and we'll start cutting. All right, guys, we are gonna start with the 046. Let's see how she does. It's been, uh, it's probably been about a week since I ran this saw. All right, now we've got the uh, Husqvarna T535i XP. Notice how easy it is to turn on, get started. On. Now it's on. All right, here we go.
All right, guys, well, there's the results of our uh, little experiment. And uh, hopefully I caught most of the sawdust. I can just get the blower and blow the rest off. But um, just observations is the 046 wasn't quite warmed up. I probably should have let it run a minute or two before I did the cuts. So it really didn't start opening up until the last cut or two. And then with the, uh, the T535 IXP, um, it gets through this perfectly fine, but this really is about as big as you'd be doing with that saw. So um, I guess I really would have liked to bump it up one size saw. If only Husqvarna made a battery saw with a little bit more power than the T535i XP, and maybe just a touch larger battery too. All right, guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed that little, um, I don't even know what to call it. What I am gonna do is go through the footage and I'm just gonna find, without looking at the times too hard, what looks like the best cut on the Husqvarna and the best cut on the steel and put them side by side. And we'll pause right here and just let, them, let you see what the difference is between gas and electric. And I don't really think the difference is gonna be as huge as it seemed when I was cutting, but no doubt there is a difference. And it just seems like as, as time progresses, these battery saws are just gonna keep getting better and better and more powerful. And I, I, I really can't wait uh, to see where they end up because um, I'll be honest, I like the lightweight of the battery saws. I like the ease of use where you just hit a button and hopefully, you know, reliability, only time will tell. Uh, battery saws, you know, you will have to buy a new battery. I, I've had uh, my saw now for four or five years or, or my system for four or five years. So the battery I was using was a 2017 battery and it's 2022 now, so that's 18, 19, 20, 20. So the battery's five years old. Uh, and I have noticed that it's starting, the life is starting to get a little bit shorter on that battery. Um, but not having to tune up a chainsaw carb, not having the chainsaw carb get gummed up, uh, not having to breathe the fumes when the saw is running, being able to store the saw inside the truck, uh, all those things to me are, are awesome. Uh, but gas has the power, no doubt about it. So um, thanks for watching today, folks, and uh, I guess I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.